Hello and welcome to this accomplished beginner's blender tutorial number seven. This is a continuation from five and six where we modeled the house and then put some windows on it. Now we want to finish the door and uh, this is the door jam which is made in the same fashion as uh, the window frames. So what I'll do is uh, make sure I have my cursor where I want it. Snap the cursor to the selected and then do A and then do a Shift A, plane and R, X, 9, 0. And since I'm in edge mode, I can just pull these edges in. And I'm just, make sure, I'm just making sure the closest and the face, and I want to pull this forward a little bit. And I can actually choose local mode by pressing the um, forward slash on the num keypad. I want to do W subdivide four of them. And uh, this is needs to be in edge mode. And I'm selecting these two uh, loops and scale X just to push them in to the side. The same thing is here, just scale Z. That's the outer frame of it, and this is the mid, scale Z, and this is oh, scale X, and now I'll do a couple of uh, loop cuts here, no, I only need two up there and down here. And I'm Alt Shift right mouse selecting these. Okay. This and then going to face mode and grab on. We'll just select these two and push them outward a little bit. Then then I'll do Alt Shift right mouse click. Oh, first these like those and then alt right mouse click alt shift right mouse click and extrude E for extrude and push it out like that and I'll just remove the normal display take the invisible selector and do shift D for duplication and I'll rotate this 180 degrees in the X axis, R, X, 1, 8, 0. And push that together a little bit. Go to the opaque selector. Edge, A. Select these two loops. W, loop tools, bridge, and it it doesn't work really good so I'll just back out and I can uh, select these two and do F and then I can alt right mouse click to select that loop and then I can just remove that one and do W and loop tools and bridge and then it comes together nicely and um, make sure I get everything and I'm using the control left mouse to select in invisible mode which takes also the hidden edges mode which I call invisible mode uh, like this um, and I want to create a vertex group called door And I can do control I and then create another group called door jam. Assign and deselect, deselect that. Make sure that I have the. No, it didn't work. I forgot to assign it, so 
I'll do, I'll select that and do control I here and uh, move over to door and then assign that, deselect and select. And I want the door to be in the jam there. And forward slash to go back to this. Now we can push this in here. And um, if we wanted the door to be you know, possible to open, you could um, press tab here. You already have the door selected and you can do P on it. And then tab to go to object mode. Okay, that's the door. We have the door selected. And you can snap the cursor to the selected. And then from the front, and then move this over to where we could imagine there's a hinge. I'm just going to see here. R, Z. We have to change the pivot point to the 3D cursor, R, Z. So that way it will open. And uh, we have our little Halloween house here. We'll do some more opening of the door. Ooh. Trick or treat. So here we got our house with a door and windows and a ghost, which I won't tell you how I did. Anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. It's um, October 31st, 2011. So this is the end of this tutorial, except for the fact that I'm going to change the light here to a white, white light so we can see what it looks like in the unspooky light, a more representative light. And increase the energy a little bit, like that. And render that. So, so that's the house with uh, windows and doors, and you could put a chimney on it and do all kinds of things. This, these are just some basics to get an idea how you can uh, reasonably quickly create buildings that have some of the features that normal buildings do have. Uh, and um, I thank you for listening. It's okay to comment and like and uh, subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Um, and um, have, a, have a good evening.